I am at, on my way. It is 3.49 in the morning. 3.49 in the morning and I'm awake and I'm in the car. Yes. Why? Because I'm going to Atlanta for one day to go see the Braves play the Nationals. So Ron and I are going to head out. I'm going to his house now to go get him. And then we're going to fly out to Atlanta, Please watch a game, and then fly back. So check it out. Here's our day. All right, here we are. I don't know if you can see us or not, but there's Ron over there. What's up, buddy? And here I am. It's now 4.10 a.m. I just picked Ron up from his house. We're on our way to the airport now. Hopefully, we'll make it through TSA safely. Um, you didn't put anything in your socks that we could get in trouble for, did you? Totally not. <laughs> there we go. All right, good. So, we have that going for us. Thank you for my own personal safety. <laughs> oh, zone 2. Zone 2. All right, here we are. We're in the airport. There's our plane. Out there, it's dark out because it's still. It's not quite sun up yet. It's not. Nope. 5:52 a.m. Philadelphia time. What time would that be in Atlanta? Well, <laughs> sometimes the point, all I need is just a boarding pass. I'm ready for the age. I do not need your ID or your passport or your driver's license. Just the boarding pass out and open. All we need is this. That's all we need. Yeah. All right. Well, now we're gonna get on a plane and fly two hours to Atlanta. While everybody else is sleeping, go Braves. There you go, the top. That's the sign for good luck. Do you see anything wrong? We're not moving. We're stuck here. 25 minutes at least. This stinks. But at least Ron's having a good time. We landed. There's Ron. He's awake now. Yeah. I'm awake now too. That's the Atlanta airport. Once again, we're waiting. More waiting. More waiting. We do a lot of waiting. A lot of waiting. So we're in Atlanta now. Yay! This is uh Olympic Park, Centennial Park they call it. Right behind us is the World of Coke. Uh, no sign there. We're on the wrong side to see the sign. <laughs> so, whole bunch of crap to do here. Hopefully we can find something to do for the next three and a half hours. So. The sky view. And by the way, there's cops on segways behind us. Yeah. There they go. We're not even in the mall. Cops on segways. Dun dun dun. You don't see that in Philly. So there's sky view Atlanta. Look at that. Giant Ferris wheel. Okay, so we're not going on the Ferris wheel. It's big. It. It's cool. It's fourteen dollars a person to go around twice. So, guess who's saving $14? It is big though. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> right behind me right here is the Phillips Arena. That's where they play basketball. They used to play hockey there, but not anymore. But that's the Phillips Arena. Over here, that's the Georgia Dome. Over there. And that monstrosity behind Ron is where the Falcons are now going to play to. That's their new stadium. That thing is huge. It's nice looking. I think what they did, they took a Minnesota Vikings stadium and said, let's make this even weirder. And that's what they did over there. We'll be in. If there's a time in your life when you need things to be right and said, Team inside my soul. Thought it was harder 
All right, well, we made it. Here we are. We're, uh, that's the field behind us. Turner Field. Turner Field. Eight games left. Eight games left. And no more games in Turner Field. You know what? It's a pretty nice stadium. It's, you know, I was just saying that to you just a moment ago. I mean, it's really kind of a shame that they're closing this down. Yeah. I mean, the stadium itself is absolutely beautiful. It really is. I mean, I love the open-air concourse section that they have right directly in front of us. Yeah, right they, behind you know, Center they, Field. There's a good selection of food. I mean, as we're walking up, I see people eating all sorts of, like, brisket, burgers, mac and cheese. And we're, we're right behind H&F Burger right now, and it smells so oh, good. Yeah, right down of it. It smells yeah, outstanding. It's outstanding. The people here are actually nice. The, the, Lady who was doing the pregame thing here, she said, "Oh, there, look, there's a Nats fan. We have to be nice to her. You'll never hear that in Philly. <laughs> it's just the opposite, man. Go get them. <laughs> Go get them. Attack them. Go to town. We'll call the cops on them after you attack them. Yeah, right. So right behind us is Turner Field. There it is. So 655 miles. An airplane, two hours in a plane, stuck on a runway for 25 minutes. <laughs> and we get to Atlanta, stuck on the runway for five more minutes. Yep, yep. Walked around the Olympic we Village. We made it. Walked all the way here from the Olympic Village, about two miles. I soaked myself. So Ron, Ron walked right through the Olympic Rings water fountain. I bet him to do it. He did it, and he got hosed. I thought ahead of time. He <laughs> so now we're here. It's a nice looking stadium. It's a shame they're getting rid of it. It's really nice. I mean, they're really throwing away something, something special in my opinion. For, this is really a nice spot. For what seems to be a, a silly reason, if you ask me. But hey, you know, money's money, I guess, right? Yeah. It's I mean, it's just kind of a shame they couldn't work out maybe another little time. Yeah. Because it's a nice stadium. So, and the Olympics were here, so you can't beat that. Right. So, all right, we'll see some more stuff later, but uh, we made it. Peace. Yeah. Shit show. The greatest thing ever invented. Pour your or own the worst beer. <laughs> or the worst things ever invented. Yeah. Not sure which way. Fox Sports set right here. Oh, fancy Fox Sports railings. Good view. Cut your hair, you hippie. <laughs> what is the most fun job in Major League Baseball? This guy's. He's gotta be up there. Haunting me for the rest of my life now. Oh, I'm gonna wake up screaming in the middle of the night. No, I'm still at Turner Field. No. Good news. See Jason Worth. He's right in front of us. Plays for the Nationals. <laughs> well, he's getting it up. I can't show you what's going on down there because that is the right of MLB baseball. But something good just happened for the Braves. Listen.
John gave up. <laughs> they don't have the kiss cam, they have the hug cam. Oh. I guess that way when you're here with somebody who's not your wife. <laughs> no, I swear we're just friends. <laughs> These seats here are for all the people with no friends. <laughs> that kid right down there, he's like seven feet tall. There we go. So here we go, right behind me, there's the drum. And my man Oatmeal's back there somewhere. There he is, see him coming up right now. Oh, and he's drumming. That's who's making all that noise. Ron hates it. It works. Ron hates it. I love it. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, man. All right, man. Yeah, there you go. Right. <laughs> Not sure what's going on back here, but there's been a line there the entire game. Something big in the clubhouse. They must be giving stuff away. Or it's the only place to get brave stuff. I'm not sure which. I'm a big fan of socks. <laughs> okay, in case you were wondering, we are 528 feet from home plate. So here we are now. We walked around the park a little bit. We moved up. We moved up in the world. Literally. Literally. We moved all the way up. There's nowhere else to go. No. We're the last row. That's <laughs> it. We're the last row in the park. The only thing preventing a really sudden, terrible death is this chain link fence. Right, right behind us, that little chain link fence back there. But yeah, even here these seats aren't bad. I don't know. No, there's really not a bad seat in the house. I think, uh, oh, there it is. Very I think, uh, ballpark, in my opinion. yes, I agree 100%. This doesn't get nearly the kind of love that, like, Candid Yards and, you know, even Citizens Bank Park and PNC. And, you know, I think PNC is a better ballpark, but this is definitely really nice. Really nice. It, it's a shame that they're putting this thing in bed as quickly as they seem to be. It's, uh, 20 years is a particularly short period of time. But, I mean, still, it should be longer than that. Yeah. Another good 10 years out of this. There's really no reason at least to keep quiet. It's not like this was this built brought to an end this way. Yeah, this one was to replace the cookie cutter one that they built in 66. Right. And that one was around for 30 years. And that one was ugly as sin. That looked like Vet and all the other cookie cutter ones Three that rivers. we hate. Three rivers. <laughs> yeah, there's apparently nothing to do here after that. Yeah, it's, I mean, even if we, you know, we walked here from yeah. basically downtown Atlanta. Probably about a mile and a half, something like that, maybe a little bit more. There and really is nothing. There was nothing. Like yeah. There's not, we passed nothing. We not passed nothing. Not a single nothing. restaurant, not a single bar. Not, not a, a single, single luxury. Store. Nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> and they want to get it out of this neighborhood because there's nothing here for them other than this. But it's a shame because it's a really nice stadium. Yeah. Um, good news, I just read that Georgia State University is going to be building it and turning it into a football stadium. Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Okay. So um, at least it's not going to just completely be demolished. They originally were saying it was just going to be blown up. Blowing this up would be a shame. If you look at this stadium the way that it is now, and you run the field up the first baseline, and you bring in the seats from the outfield, I can kind of 
see where that would make a little sense. Yeah. I don't think like, that's crazy. Have the football field going this way. Right. Right down here is the... This angle, I can kind of see. Yeah. Bring in the outfield. Just right. Move all yep. that in. Maybe, like, increase the size of the concourses. Yeah. But, I mean, it's a great view out there of the city. You have a nice view from behind home plate. Yeah, if you're going to want to open up anything, it's going to be straight that way. Yes. Because all the offices and everything are right there. That's where we're sitting before. Underneath we're, all the champ, chip pennants championship all pennants the there. Pennants. Yep. This way it opens it up a little bit. You have that view of the skyline directly behind you. It directly, yeah. It makes more sense to open that up yeah. over there. So, it's a really nice park. Uh, only spending... 12 hours in Atlanta. We really didn't get to experience Atlanta as a whole, but this is a nice park. It's a shame that they're getting rid of it, and I'm very happy that I was able to make it here in time to uh, to see it before they tear it down. Look, Mom, I'm on a plane. Again. <laughs> in one day. Mm -hmm. So our trip's over. Ballpark, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Shame they're tearing it down. Hopefully and they're not tearing it down. Yes. Hopefully uh, Georgia State mm -hmm. takes it, turns into a football stadium. Because it's a nice area. Has a lot of history for only being 20 years old. Definitely does. I mean, how many other stadiums have had Olympics held in them? Not many. Don't tear it down. Keep it going. No, that's what keep it around.